welcome to the studio at African Utility Week and Power Gen Africa. With me right now in studio is Sindim Zamo, who is going to be speaking to us about the involvement of women in, of women in the power sector. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited to actually be <laughs> part of this discussion, which Lovely. is a discussion which is very close to my heart. I understand. Yes. Um, yes. So what advice do you have for utilities in terms of involving women in decision-making roles rather than just being an HR lady or in marketing? This is very important and very powerful because we are no longer talking about just gender parity in the energy sector, but what we're saying is we're talking about breaking the glass ceiling. Mm. When we talk about breaking the glass ceiling is women to be appointed in key positions of influence mm. in the utilities themselves. Because once you appoint a woman in a board, uh, 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 in a utility, or you appoint a woman as a chief executive, or even as board members, you know what? Research has proven the profit margins go higher. Mm. So you're not just appointing a person that is not going to deliver, but the research has proven that women, when they're given op um, in positions of influence and positions of power, they deliver on those opportunities. Mm. And I'd like to urge all the utilities across the continent to take the role of women very seriously in terms of actually using them as influencers, as decision makers, as implementers at the same time, mm. so that they'll be able to actually have more returns on their profits mm. and actually make sure that their profits are growing and even their infrastructures are growing. And, and I think what I've discovered um, working uh, with men or with women in general, yes. the most important thing is to love one another and respect each other. Yes. Now, what I can say is, well, I can no longer say that the industry is male-dominated. No. That's wonderful. It's, it's, it's about the past, but yeah. look what is happening in this conference, in this exhibition. Mm. More women. When I turn a corner, I meet them. <laughs> <laughs> Just a young woman or a woman. When I turn a corner, you know, the African Utility Week has done an amazing, yeah. an amazing work because this is my first time to attend an energy and water exhibition mega event where women are so energized and they're actually looking forward to see what is going to happen next year. I've chatted to some of the women, they're like, wow, we're so excited because even yesterday when you look at the, the women um, power, power lunch, lunch yes. it was the opposite. We had men, more men than women, which was something very exciting for mm. me because men must start creating that enabling environment yes. in those uh, utilities to open up for women because it's good. They must come and listen to what the challenges are for yeah. women so that when they go back to those utilities, they'll be able to actually implement and assist the women. So that because some of us, we coming from different backgrounds, we're very shy to yes. position ourselves. But when that enabling environment is created, it's provided, it's yes. provided you just thrive. Mm. You're not unlike Cindy. Cindy's going to go out there and say, please, <laughs> please, let's move. Yes. But there are those ones that are always going to be quiet about In it. But if the environment is there, let them thrive. Mm. Well, Cindy, and I also understand that Speaking of thriving, you're thriving in this role of being the ambassador for the African Utility Week. What does it mean for you to be the ambassador of such a largest power and energy well, um, conference? I, I'm humbled and honored yes. to be the official ambassador of this mega event. And what it has done for me, it has given me a lot of understanding as well mm. in terms of strategic partnerships and how you work with people. Yeah. Because uh, business is about relationships. Business is about networking. If you're not networking, you're not working. Yeah. So this is the right platform. We've created an enabling environment for customers and, and prospect clients to come together in this environment. Just behind me, things are happening next door where there is a B2B yes. uh, environment. And, and I'm excited because in such platforms, we need to actually say that when I leave the African Utility Week, I have managed to get two or three deals yes. because I, this is the objective of the African mm. Utility Week so that when people come together, we in action. When people come together, things are happening. <laughs> it is time to be alive. Thank you so much for your time, Cindy. Thank you. That's all we have for now. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. 
Thank Don't you. forget to subscribe to our channel now for more industry-related content.